King Alistair knelt amid the tangle of roots and tendrils, coaxing a struggling sapling from the soil. It was a new arrival in his cosmic garden, a fledgling thought still struggling to take shape. There you are, little one, Alistair murmured. With infinite care, he eased the sapling up and nestled it into a space waiting in the glowing earth. Alistair scooped a handful of stardust from a pouch at his belt and sprinkled it over the sapling's roots. It shivered once, then stilled as luminescent leaves began to sprout from its branches. A smile creased Alistair's aged face. He had been guardian of this garden for longer than he could recall, nurturing each new thought that took root here. They came as seeds from some distant realm beyond the stars, arriving in Alistair's outstretched palms. He tended each one patiently, giving it space to grow. Here they took on forms unlike anything in the physical world. world. Joy manifested as a radiant vine crawling up a latticework of hopes and dreams. Fear became a grotesque fungus rooted in the soil of anxiety. Anger simmered like lava beneath cracked volcanic rock, and sorrow fell softly as azure rain, nourishing the seeds of understanding. Alistair's weathered hands knew how to cultivate each aspect of this garden. When Joy's vines stretched too greedily, he pruned them back gently so newer growth could thrive. For fear's foul mushrooms, he scattered salt and brought the pure light of consciousness. Anger's lava he diverted with channels of compassion and quiet meditation. And when sorrow's rain swelled the clouds with its weight, he stood beneath and let it run down his upturned face, acknowledging its necessity. Yet Alistair's most treasured task was welcoming new arrivals. He watched fondly now as the sapling's branches reached eagerly for the void above. It was still too soon to tell what form this little one would take. Alistair sprinkled more stardust around its roots, humming an ancient lullaby passed down from the first cosmic gardeners. A new shape caught Alistair's eye then. It slunk in the shadows just beyond the garden's edge, luminous eyes studying him. Curiosity, he realized. It often lurked here, drawn by the garden's light, yet too wary to enter fully. Alistair paused in his work, holding very still. He kept his breathing slow, his posture relaxed. With infinite patience, he extended a weathered hand in silent welcome. Curiosity crept forward, ready to bolt at the slightest surprise, but Alistair merely waited, allowing it to approach in its own time. When it drew near, he bowed his head in greeting. Welcome, friend, he said quietly. Enter freely and find ease here. Clawed feet shuffled forward onto the living earth. Curiosity sniffed delicately at the sapling Alistair had just planted. It tapped one tendril experimentally, then seemed to laugh in delight at the shoots unfurling further. Slowly it ventured deeper into the garden, curiosity overcoming caution. Alistair smiled and returned to tending this small dominion entrusted to his care. Here, thoughts took shape and roamed as ephemeral dreams. An ancient peace filled him, as sweet as starlight. This garden was more than Alistair's purpose, it was an extension of his own soul. Within it, his deepest truths, fears and wonders were given form. Each thought was a precious gift containing boundless beauty. He nurtured them all gently, patiently helping them grow.